Many new Charm Health users wonder if they can use their existing intake forms as questionnaires. The answer is yes and no. Since questionnaires need to be built in Charm Health in order to function properly, directly converting from other formats like PDF is unfortunately not an option. However, as you saw in part one, you can copy and paste the contents of your existing forms while building your questionnaires to save time. And while directly converting from a PDF to a questionnaire is impossible, depending on the form and the needs of your practice, you can import these files as documents. In contrast to questionnaires, documents in Charm Health can be anything the patient needs to review but does not need to be returned to the practice, such as medical handouts, office policies, educational resources, aftercare instructions, lifestyle recommendations, and so on. As they do not need to be created in Charm Health, documents may take any form you need, including PDFs, text documents, images, video, or audio files if the file is less than 40 MB. There is a small amount of overlap between documents and questionnaires, and under certain circumstances, they can be shared with patients by similar means. Documents can be uploaded to your account in Settings, Documents, Practice Documents. When uploading a document, you must select a document type. If you choose Consent Form, it can be selected while scheduling an appointment. If you choose New Patient Package, it will be sent as an attachment on the appointment confirmation email for new patient's first appointment. And documents of any type can be selected during the appointment from the handout section and will be shared to the patient's portal along with the visit summary once the encounter is signed. As stated previously, the questionnaire type you select when creating your forms will determine how it is shared, when the patient receives it, and what kind of information can be collected. Pre-screening forms, for example, are filled by patients who have not yet been registered to your practice when they request an appointment on your website using a web embed calendar or appointment bot. They are intended to gather basic preliminary information about a patient so you can determine whether or not they are right for your practice. Pre-screening forms can be selected in Settings, Calendar, Online Appointments. For each provider at each facility, only one pre-screening form can be selected at a time. Consent forms and general questionnaires are sent to a patient before or between appointments. General questionnaires or pre-appointment questionnaires are used in place of intake forms. There are three main ways to send pre-appointment questionnaires. First, you can select them in the calendar while scheduling an appointment. Available questionnaires will be displayed on the right side of the new appointment window. Secondly, you can have questionnaires sent automatically when an appointment is scheduled by associating them with a provider and or visit type in Settings, Questionnaires, Preferences. This is useful as it means that patients will still receive necessary questionnaires even when booking from their patient portal or a web embed calendar, and practice members don't need to remember to select questionnaires every time they schedule an appointment for a patient. Third, you can send questionnaires manually by going to the Messages section of the patient chart clicking the downward pointing triangle on the Composed button and selecting Questionnaire. By default, you can only send questionnaires to the patient portal. However, if you have the text slash voice notifications add-on enabled, you also have the option of sending them to the patient's phone and email. This is useful for patients without a PHR who would otherwise be unable to access most questionnaires. You can enable this as a default share option in Settings, Questionnaires, Preferences. Important note, questionnaires that have been sent automatically or that have been selected while scheduling are associated with the appointment. In order for them to be reconciled, the encounter must also be associated with the same appointment. Encounters should either be started from the calendar page list view or the appointment should be selected when the encounter is created. Whether questionnaires are associated with an appointment or not, they must be submitted by the patient before the encounter is started. And finally, feedback forms or satisfaction surveys are sent to patients via email or text after an appointment to gather feedback about their experience with your practice.
Feedback forms can be sent manually by clicking the three dots in the upper right corner of the patient chart and selecting Send Feedback Form, or it can be sent automatically again by enabling your preferences in Settings, Questionnaires, Preferences. Completed pre-screening forms can be viewed on the appointment requests page of the calendar, allowing you to review their answers before the patient is registered and the appointment is confirmed. Submitted or partially filled questionnaires of all types can be viewed from the patient chart, patient details, questionnaires page. Information from the allergies, medications, and supplement widgets can be added to the patient chart by clicking the reconcile button either on this page or on their respective pages. Information from the personal details, primary contact details, and primary insurance details widget does not need to be reconciled. This information is added to or updated on the patient chart as soon as the questionnaire is submitted by the patient. Consent forms and general questionnaires can be viewed in the encounter from the questionnaires tab of the middle pane. Relevant answers can be added to the encounter by clicking the reconcile option. Answers from patient feedback forms is collected into a report for your analysis that can be found in analytics, default reports, others, patient feedback. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions, please reach out to us at support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.